Good morning. So, what we're going to be doing today is getting out in a little bit. And uh, we're going to get the WRX cleaned up. I just had it up in Vermont for a couple of days. Had a great little trip up there with Nicole. We rode at Okemo for a day. We hit Stowe for two days. It was absolutely incredible. Uh, but man, is that thing filthy. So um, what I'm doing real quick is just freeing up some space on a couple of SD cards here because we're going to go through a good amount of footage today. Uh, and then we're going to take it over to a local uh, self-serve car wash because my water's turned off at the house here. Um, so at least I can use their like pressurized guns over there. And uh, we're going to get the thing cleaned up. So I'll show you guys some stuff that I like to do uh, in the winter as far as winter wash technique techniques go. Uh, especially when you don't have access to water at your own house. Uh, but nonetheless, still some great ways to get it cleaned up uh, no matter how dirty the car is. Um, so uh, we'll step out in a minute and, uh, and we'll get it cracking. I'll talk to you guys soon. All right, so I've got my ammo aerator here. We're going to mix this with 20 ounces of water, 3 ounces of ammo frothy hoseless lift, and 1 ounce of Boost Winter Wash. Now, I've got these two black markings on the side of the aerator. There's actually two servings going in here, so it's 40 ounces of water and then double the dose of froth and boost. But we'll get that shaken up, and we'll set this to the side. Next, I've got some super clean degreaser. I'm putting that full strength in a separate pump sprayer, and you'll see what I use this for in a little bit. Next, we've just got some regular car shampoo. This is the Supreme Suds by Synergy Works. I've got that in the wheel bucket, and then some hot water and towels going into the Adams bucket. That has some more of the Ammo Boost Winter Wash to coat the towels, and we'll seal these up. The third bucket is just going to carry my supplies. We've got OptiSeal to protect, wheel brightener for the wheels, all-purpose cleaner, tire shine, and I never go anywhere without my Synergy Works ceramic detail spray. Uh, once we got everything ready to go, we're just going to get this loaded up in the trunk of the car with a couple of buckets of microfiber towels and some other general like tools and supplies and things that I like to take with me on all my details. Now, the reason that we're going to the self-serve car wash, and I mentioned this before, is my water's turned off. Now, that does not mean that I can't like take a shower or brush my teeth or clean my clothes or anything like that. It's just that my sprinkler system and my outside water spigot, both are hooked up to the same main water line. And in the winter, when you get your sprinklers blown out, you get those uh, water lines turned off uh, and you're not supposed to open them up until the spring again. Otherwise, you can risk things cracking and uh, busting your sprinkler lines. So nonetheless, we're down here at my favorite self-serve car wash. Um, this is just a few miles away from my house, and you can tell that the WRX is absolutely thrashed from a snowboarding trip to Vermont. So we're going to get this cleaned up, and I'll show you guys step-by-step step what we're doing here. The first thing is going to be taking the mats out of the car. I have the rubber all-weather Subaru mats, and we're just going to get these rinsed down. Um, now, they have it where the gun kind of like comes out of the brush. I don't take that brush to anything. I'm just using it for water pressure. Now, this pump sprayer, it's got that super clean degreaser in there at full strength. So once the mats are rinsed, we're going to get these soaked. And I've got a medium stiffness drill brush here. And uh, we're just going to get these agitated. It's going to loosen up all the dirt and salt and any of the other like winter road grime that I basically carried into the car from the weekend trip. And once those are scrubbed, you just give them a simple rinse and set them to the side. Now for wheels, you're going to start by just getting it rinsed off you know the dirt and most of the debris will come off pretty easily on the tire and the fenders and especially the wheel too if they've been protected here i've got that bucket that was pre-filled with water and some supreme suds at home so i'm just getting it nice and foamy in there and i'm gonna soak the face of the wheel and the barrels and everything in the mcguire's wheel brightener we're gonna soak the fender liners the tire and the mud flap in some full strength degreaser and then we're going to get at that with a couple of different brushes here so i've got that long handled one to get in the fenders stiffer bristled is agitating the tires you can see how brown and filthy they are and then just a variety of brushes to get into the barrels faces and around the spokes the wheels lug nuts and everything once all that's agitated just give it a rinse repeat for each wheel and once i'm done with those i like to hit this back area with the exhaust tips and the diffuser as well I just drove the car here, so the tips are still pretty warm. It's a great time to hit them with some all-purpose cleaner. Let that break down some of the soot that's there. And then just use a bug sponge to agitate the chrome tips and this textured black plastic as well. And then we'll give that a rinse, and we'll move on to the rest of the car. Now, since it's so filthy, you definitely want to start with a good rinse down and get rid of everything that's 
loose on the surface here. Give yourself less to wash with, you know, your towels or sponges, whatever you decide to use. You can see most of it's coming off with water pressure here. And that's definitely the beauty of uh, staying on top of your maintenance and topping off your protection. So I'm just going to stir up these towels a little bit. You can see the water getting kind of like sudgy in there. That's the ammo boost coating the towels there. And here's my aerator with the same, uh, same mixture of boost as well as frothy. This replaces the foam cannon. It's basically just a pre-lubrication stage. What it's going to start to do is break down some of the dirt that's there, make it easy to carry it away. And these towels, since they're soaked in the same solution, are uh, going to be like using a soapy mitt, just a little bit gentler. And uh, also with the ammo boost, it provides some corrosion inhibitors. So it's great for all the painted surfaces and things like that. But it works really simple. Wipe in side to side motions. Keep an eye on the towel. And as you start to notice that you pick up dirt, rotate the towel. Um, since it's folded in half and then folded in half again, you're left with eight working sides. And the idea is to just keep rotating, go through your towels, never put them back in the bucket. You can even see here that I'm already starting to collect dirt and it's time to turn this towel inside out. Now, depending on how dirty the car, depending on how many times you've done this process, you get kind of used to like how many towels you're going to need um, based on how dirty it is or, or how big of a car you're working on. But the process is really just that simple. Rinse spray, let it dwell a little bit and start to wipe it down in sort of like a scooping motion here. Work from top to bottom, just the same as you would with any other wash process and make your way all around the car. Over here, you can see I even get this into some like of the more detailed parts of the car, um, like the gas cap. I'll even open up the doors and with some pressure taken out of the aerator, I'll soak the door sills and the door jams in there and agitate things with a brush to make sure that none of that nasty stuff is building up in there, which can cause rust over time and devalue the car and just make it look, you know, really, really nasty. Um, but other than that, it's basically just the same thing all the way around the car. Like I said, we're just getting this wiped section by section. And uh, one thing to know about this system too, is it's actually designed like a shaving cream, um, which are known as humectants and the formula will evaporate. So if you were just to wipe it down, um, the ammo frothy, scoop it up, anything that's left there on the surface will evaporate. Um, but with the method that I'm using here, since it's got a lot more water in the towels and in the bucket, just for good measure, I give the car one final rinse down. But, you know, this isn't the verbatim ammo frothy process. It's kind of modified a little bit. Um, so since I gave it that final rinse, I just get the hand dryer here, you get some high pressure air and you have to blow everything off the surface, um, get everything out of the cracks and crevices here. And I did bring a drying towel with me just to get some of the extra stuff that was left on the surface here. Um, because we're going to be doing some protection at the end and you want to make sure that there's no water standing on the surface. Um, this is the Synergy Works super drying towel. It's a dual pile towel, really thick, super plush. It's safe on all the surfaces. You know, if you're using it the right way, it won't scratch the car. Um, but I love this thing. I take this not only for my personal car, but on uh, all my details. Uh, anyway, we got that dried up. Here's the Opti seal. I've been using this polymer sealant uh, for about a year now on this car. Um, it's super, super easy to use. You get a foam applicator pad, prime your pad, one spray on the surface per panel is all you need and just work it in. Uh, circular motion, straight line back and forth, it really doesn't matter. What matters most is that you just get even coverage. The reason I love this sealant so much, it's just so easy to use. You can use it on paint, glass, plastics, black trim, whatever, it does not matter. And it requires no buffing either, which saves you so much time and energy. It's literally rub it in, walk away. If you notice any high spots or anything, they wipe up super easy with a towel. It's like the most user-friendly thing in the world. Um, and of course, I love the way it looks. Um, the gloss, the reflections, the shine it provides, um, and the, the durability to go along with the ease of use really makes it, in my opinion, the best standalone paint sealant on the market right now. But folks, that's pretty much it. You know, we've got this car cleaned up. I think it looks great. Let me know what you guys think. Leave some comments below if you liked a video like this. Um, really, all that's left is just to take it home and protect the, the wheels and do some tire shine. I do that when I get home because I'm getting ready to put the car away. I didn't feel like there was any sense in me doing it here and then, you know, driving home or whatever. Wheels were going to get a little dirty anyway. So I got the Synergy Works Tire Shine. It's SiO2 infused, which is the same stuff in ceramic coatings. Um, this has a nice natural sort of satin finish to it. 
Okay, um, you don't have to wipe anything off, uh, and it's got great durability. The ceramic detail spray. If you don't have this in your arsenal, man, I don't know what you're doing. You got to get this stuff. It smells fantastic. Looks great. Awesome protection. I love using it on the wheels. It makes the wheels so easy to clean um, because that stuff is on there. I can't say enough good things about it. All right, so that's it for this one. I'm just finishing up editing the video here, but uh, thanks to everyone who made it to the end. I just wanted to take a moment and remind you about the giveaway that I'm doing on the channel. It's for the first 100 subscribers. The winner is going to receive a free complete detail. It's going to have everything you just saw in that video plus clay bar decontamination for the outside before we apply all the protection. So the paint's going to be super smooth. On the interior, we're doing a full vacuum, taking care of the doormats, door jams, steam cleaning everything, carpet shampoo and extraction, leather cleaning, conditioning if you got it. Um, we're really going deep down the rabbit hole for the winner of this. Now, I'm about halfway there. So if you haven't subscribed to the channel already, all you got to do is click that button and then send me a screenshot. This way I know it's you. You can either uh, send me a DM on Instagram or Facebook, but unfortunately YouTube just doesn't give you a notification um, of who your subscriber actually is. So if you want to win this, really critical that you guys do that. Um, but good luck to everybody that enters and I'll see you guys on the next one.